The U.S. government quietly approved Israel's military campaign in Lebanon, despite publicly urging the Jewish state and militant group Hezbollah to seek a ceasefire, Politico has reported, citing insider sources. Israel has waged a week-long bombing campaign in Lebanon, assassinating most of the Hezbollah leadership and is in the process of what it describes as a limited incursion into its northern neighbor. Over 1,000 people have been killed and over 1 million displaced. Prior to the bombing and invasion, thousands of people in Lebanon were targeted by simultaneously exploding devices which Israeli intelligence allegedly planted in preparation for an attack on Hezbollah. U.S. President Joe Biden reiterated his public calls for a ceasefire between Israel and Hezbollah, telling reporters at the White House, I'm comfortable with them stopping. However, Israel outlined its military strategy to Washington in broad terms in mid-September and received approval via senior U.S. presidential advisors Amos Hochstein and Brett McGurk, Politico reported on Monday, citing two Israeli and four American officials. The decision faced opposition from within the Pentagon, State Department and intelligence community, the sources claimed. There are reportedly concerns that the hostilities could escalate into a major war which would directly draw in the U.S. Violence on Israel's northern border surged last October after the Jewish state besieged the Palestinian enclave of Gaza in retaliation for a deadly incursion by the militant group Hamas. Hezbollah supports the Palestinians and has vowed to stop cross-border rocket attacks only after a ceasefire is reached in Gaza. Israel's goal is to eliminate Hamas completely and it has repeatedly rejected public calls for Washington for a truce. The belief in Washington, according to Politico, is that Israel's conflict with Hamas and Hezbollah can be decoupled in some way. Hostility in Lebanon would help curb the regional influence of Iran, which supports both militant movements, U.S. officials reportedly hope. They are said to be unwilling, however, to support the Israeli campaign publicly as the strategy may backfire, meaning Washington continues to call for caution and de-escalation. Both things can be true. The U.S. can want diplomacy and support Israel's larger goals against Hezbollah. Politico quoted a senior U.S. official as saying, There's clearly a line that the administration is towing. It's just not clear what that line is. The sources claimed that Israel has opted for a limited incursion in Lebanon at the request of the U.S. as opposed to a major ground offensive. Thank you.
Amazon. Amazon.